Telemetry appears to show the effects of the planet's atmosphere. We are expecting loss of signal. Loss of signal. The spacecraft has disappeared behind the planet. It will emerge in about 54 minutes. This is Mariner Control. Spaceflight typically consists of short periods of frantic activity and then long minutes or hours of waiting. But somehow, the time does pass. This is Mariner Control. We are waiting for exit occultation. We have RF locks with Mariner. The spacecraft emerged from behind the planet at 8.13. Mariner reappears from behind Mars. Reports indicate good occultation data has been collected by Goldstone and Woomera. Now it is time to report to the press. Dr. Robert Siemens, Jr., Associate Administrator, NASA. To launch a spacecraft approximately seven months ago and have it travel out to distances of 133 million miles, come within approximately 6,000 miles of, of a planet, and this is the desired distance within a few hundred miles, uh, have it give information on the way out, have it give information about the planet, have it then go into occultation and then reacquire after passing behind the planet is a very significant engineering achievement. So, Bill, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate you and the whole team here at JPL for a, a very uh, uh, remarkable job. The experiments which have been carried out look as though we're going to give us some very interesting data indeed. During the picture taking... It appears that the operation has gone smoothly, as planned. But there is some uncertainty whether all pictures were recorded or not. Dan Schneiderman, project manager. The performance of the spacecraft during the picture-taking sequence was not precisely as predicted. Telemetry data received during the picture-taking sequence indicate a possible malfunction in the tape recorder. But the project engineers are optimistic. It will be some hours until picture number one playback starts. Tape recorder specialists labor to analyze the telemetry data. Then it is 6 a.m. July 15th, nearly time for the first picture playback. The tape recorder data should come in to Johannesburg in Madrid, then will be fed to a memory bank and to this machine, plus others like it. This is Mariner Control. We expect picture playback to start momentarily. Johannesburg and Madrid are tracking. We are getting picture number one. Repeat. Picture number one is coming in. It will take at least eight hours to receive all of picture number one. The numbers are indications of different shades. Number zero is white. Number 63 is black. Numbers in between are gray shades. Hours turn into days as one by one the pictures are slowly returned to Earth. Another press conference is held to report on the preliminary findings of the scientific experiments. There are no unusual or intense concentrations of dust near Mars, as some scientists expected. No evidence of a Martian magnetic field. If there is one, it is very, very weak. Consistent with the magnetic data, no evidence of trapped radiation belts. During flyby, the solar plasma probe reported measurements similar to those made in interplanetary space. The atmospheric density at the planet's surface, about equal to Earth's atmosphere, 
at an altitude of 100,000 feet. The planet's diameter, 60 to 100 miles less than previously thought. By midnight, July 19th, 10 and one half pictures had been received. The recorder successfully switched to the second track. The rest is now history. In addition to the valuable scientific data gathered by Mariner, man would have his first close-up photographs of Mars. The pictures and data recorded by Mariner 4 revealed Mars to be a cold, barren planet. The atmosphere contains little or no oxygen and appears to be composed largely of carbon dioxide. There were no obvious traces of the canals, as indicated on maps of Mars, no evidence of life forms. But the pictures cover only 1% of the Martian surface. General surface features are similar to the moon, with many craters, but with no great valleys, continental masses, mountain chains, or ocean basins. But many questions have been answered, and the exploration of Mars, begun by Mariner, will continue in the years ahead. The mission to Mars, conceived by men who refused to be earthbound. An extraordinary voyage by an exceptional spacecraft, Mariner 4.